So I wanted to show what I use for making 360 degree videos. I use a Kodak Pix Pro SP360 4K. Actually, I use two. And I'll explain what that is. It's a camera, it's a video camera, or it can take still pictures. It's not really as convenient as taking a picture or a video with your phone, but it works. Anyway, what this does, it has a built-in fisheye when I open up to the lens here. This is a fisheye lens. By itself, one of them could take also a 360 degree video, but only from one side. So for example, you could put this on the table and turn it on and it will record what's around a table where with a group of people, for example, but you couldn't look down. It's easiest to use it just in that mode, but you don't get the full sphere. So you use two cameras in order to have a full sphere and then the two videos need to be put together in a stitching program afterwards. So essentially this, it could connect with a phone so one can look at the screen, but only one of them and it's kind of clumsy. It's like a dedicated Wi-Fi connection. It doesn't really work very well, so I don't use that. It has a micro SD card. I put 16 gig cards into them. That's enough. I don't take very long videos and it can also connect with USB or HDMI. I don't use that. So essentially I record something with them, then I connect them with the micro USB put them on the computer and use a stitching program. So I take the two, the two cameras and I put them in the mounting bracket here. And it's a little bit cumbersome with this camera because you can't access the, the USB port or the charging port unless you have them not in the holder here. So one has to take it on or off, it's a little clumsy. But still, this is one of the best cameras that are around, that are reasonably affordable, that are very good quality. They are cheaper ones, but they are not quite as good as good quality. And there are much more expensive ones, some of them with many cameras, more than two. But this is quite a, a manageable size, so you mount the two the two cameras here in the holder. I'm just gonna go through it so you can see what it looks like. It really just takes a few minutes, but it's okay. So then you attach it to a selfie stick or some other holder. It's the same mount as a GoPro, which makes it a little easier, I think, to find pieces that will work with it. fiddle with that. Anyway, you attach it to the to the selfie stick and there's a little remote control which actually can control the two cameras at the same time if it's configured like that. I push the on button and they both turn on. Good. I can set it on still picture or video. On video, I just reach it out and I press record. And usually I will have one pointed at me and one somewhere else, but that doesn't really matter. It could also just be standing on some kind of tripod and record what's happening around. So I record a minute and a half or two minutes that ends up easily, well, it's large files that easily becomes at least a gigabyte for each camera. But I put in a stitching program and I export it to a reasonable size, which is usually not the maximum one for me. It's sort of half size. That ends up with maybe a 200 megabyte file for a minute and a half or two minutes, which is reasonable to upload. It's about four times bigger in file size than it would be if I recorded a video on my phone. But it works. Anyway, that's more or less what I do. Record it to there, I plug it in, each camera at a time, I download the video files to the computer, I run the stitching program that came with the camera, otherwise stitching programs are hard to come by or are expensive, but there's a free program that comes with a camera and that comes with most 360 degree cameras. So I'm quite happy with that and I will show you more results from that. There you go.